Hello YouTube and today we're going to be uh, doing a review of a texture pack. Uh, it's Biocraft. It's supposed to be based on Bioshock and it was made by the Drunk Monk. I will leave a link to the download for this in the description of my video and without further ado let's get started. Now I made this whole world so that every time I review a texture pack we can just apply the texture pack and go into this world and it'll show us how it has changed everything. Now the first thing you're going to see is the paintings. Some of the paintings that were updated for beta 1.401 uh, are not in this texture pack so you see you get that ugly purpley thing. But other than that the paintings are really good. Like there's an Eve hypo station. I haven't played Bioshock in a while for and there's another um not in the texture pack painting. It took me a while to think of their security camera painting. But okay. Um first let's look at what all the minerals and stuff look like. So this is coal. I'm not exactly sure what that part of the coal is, but that looks kinda like coal. Glowstone looks like a lamp. I like this. A lot of the texture packs just made glowstone to look like lamps. That way you can use them for lighting. And I hope that of some time they add lamps that you can like turn off and turn on with redstone to Minecraft. But until that happens, that's pretty cool. Iron ore, this is kind of just another take on the iron ore that's normally in the game. Now the iron block kind of looks like a grate, and I like that. The gold ore, eh, it's okay. It's kind of just like a block in the a block of gold in the middle. And then there's the gold block and I like that how it looks like a bunch of gold bricks put on top of each other now the redstone is kinda blue which I don't really understand but eh, to each their own maybe it's supposed to represent um, Eve hypos if that's right I haven't played Bioshock in a while I think I said that earlier and um, the redstone torch and the redstone wire it's pretty cool alright now the diamond ore looks really weird and just kind of liney but and the diamond block looks just like it does in vanilla minecraft so not much change to the diamond uh... the lapis lazuli ore looks almost exactly like it does in vanilla minecraft i do like what they did with the block of lapis i think it looks really creative and looks a little bit better than vanilla All right, so now we will go check out the home uh, the walls are brick. Uh, this is planks. Uh, the bed looks normal except for it's a, just a different color. Uh, the chests are interesting. I don't know what they're supposed to look like. Um, cake. Cake looks not good. That that doesn't look appetizing. And then the furnace. Uh, workbench. Workbench, I like the workbench. It's kind of cool. Uh, the jukebox, it's a record player. Note block, which doesn't play notes because I put that sign above it. <laughs> and then a dispenser. The dispenser kind of looks like a face of some sort. I'm not sure. This is a bookshelf. And those are stairs. Alright, and one thing you'll notice, this texture pack makes everything look dark. I've noticed that, which kind of adds to the ambiance of um, Bioshock. Alright, now let's look at wool. All the colors of wool. I like how the white wool kind of has a little bit of imperfections in it. But, one thing I don't like about most texture packs, they tend to make the wool a solid color. And even though there's that little thing in the middle, I just don't like the look of solid colors. Because I think it should have at least a texture in it. Like, it's almost like they made just a square and filled it in with color and there should be a consistency to wool but the colors stay the same so I guess that's good although that black doesn't look very very dark black it looks kinda grayish so that's that's weird alright now the travel room uh, minecart tracks look like they just have another thing in the middle kinda like a uh, bath there's nothing different about the minecart 
The only thing different about the minecarts are what's in them, because that one has a furnace, that one has that. The boat, nothing different about the boat. And I guess that's okay. Uh, the author of this has said it's a work in progress, so maybe they'll add that later. Um, okay, let's go in the nature room. And animals spawning. Holy crap. Animal spawn. I did not expect this. But, um, there's a normal log. There's a cactus. Wheat. Leaves. Pumpkin. Pumpkin doesn't really look like a pumpkin. It looks kind of like a lamp. A uh, birch log. Mahogany log. The birch changed, but the other than that, there's not much change. I guess animals naturally spawn in there because there's grass and it's light. Alright, um, now the block room. This is going to show you all the generic types of blocks. Dirt, grass. I like how the grass kind of roots down in and it's not just solid. I don't like the sand. I Like, like I've told you guys, I like textures. And that's just kind of a solid. Uh, smooth stone. I guess that I like that because it's textured and yet it's smooth. The gravel... I'm not sure I like the gravel just because it doesn't really look gravelly. Mossy cobblestone doesn't really look mossy to me. Maybe that's just me. The bricks look kind of dull, but I guess that's part of the texture pack because Bioshock's not exactly a colorful place. Mud or soul sand? Uh, this looks really awesome, actually. Okay. Uh, they did not change sandstone at all, which is kind of disappointing. Lumber. I like it better in this texture pack because it's got actual nails in it. Instead of having a bunch of boards, it's just two boards. Normal cobblestone's kind of bluish. Clay, they didn't change the clay at all. Obsidian was changed a little bit, but not a lot. Uh, I like how they changed the nether rack, though. That's pretty cool. They did not change the snow block. Uh, that would be adminium. That's the bottom of the map. So I guess it's cool that they put that down the middle, but other than that, that's not that interesting. The glass has a border, which is good if you have like one glass piece for a window, but if you're trying to stack several of them, that gets in the way. And there was an ice block here, but it always melts, and then floods this room, so I had to take it out. Alright. Now let's look at the redstone stuff. The pit of redstone. Alright, well, the switches, and switch has a blue tint, but other than that, nothing different. Uh, pressure plates are good. Uh, that's TNT. Whoa. It's almost like there's a texture glitch in it. Where I can see through. That's pretty cool. Huh. There's my stuff I built that I'll show you in a bit. A redstone torch, the redstone repeater, and there's a door. That's a metal door. It's kind of like the um, things you'd have to go in Bioshock to switch the levels. Alright, now let's look at the nether. And those are jack-o'-lanterns. But they're, um, I guess they changed them into lamps. That's a really cool thing. Now without further ado, into the nether. For a second, because I don't want to die in there. Da, 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 da. I figured instead of making another room, it'd be easier just to build a portal and then walk around for like 10 seconds and go back through. The nether actually looks brighter, which is weird because the normal world looks darker, but the nether is looking brighter, probably because the nether stone, nether rack or the hell stone, it's got a brighter shade, so it brightens up this entire thing. That's pretty cool. I like how it, how it makes another look. Alright, so now we're going back. And if you notice the clock down in the left hand when you're in the nether, I don't know if you noticed it, it kind of just turns around randomly. The compass does that too. Cool little ambiance thing. Alright. Well, there's one more part to show you. And that is down in here. I wanted to make sure I didn't miss anything. Alright. No, not in there. Dumb me. <laughs> the mob pit. Mm. 
Oh, yes. Alright. Now, those are spawners back there. There's a pig. The pig really didn't get a texture pack change at all. That's supposed to be cows, but a sheep spawned in there somehow. Cows didn't get a change. Is that wolves? There's my wolves. See, the spawners are so close together, sometimes the animals spawn in on each other. But yeah, the wolves didn't get a change. Oh god, that poor sheep. Squids did not get a change, which is really weird, because since Bioshock's all watery, I would have thought they would have definitely changed the squids. Um, creepers didn't get a change. I don't think, maybe they didn't reskin any of the mobs. Zombies. Oh yeah, zombies look like big daddies. Because those are zombies. Skeletons look like big sisters, I'm guessing that's what they're supposed to look like. Spiders look like... Ah, uh, spiders are spiders. Zombie pigmen look like another type of big daddy. Sheep and chickens did not get a texture for change. Now, this is the slime room, but I can't get slimes to spawn. So, what slimes look like will remain a mystery. Well, uh, overall, I would say this is a good texture pack. I'm not exactly impressed with how they're, like, none of the mobs are really retextured. But it's a work in progress, like the guy said. I definitely uh, want you guys to check it out. It's pretty awesome. Alright, now we're going to look at the items. Uh, there's no, the clock looks the same. This is the Flint and Tinder, and it's been reskinned to look like the Incinerate Plasmid, which is a nice touch. These are the shovels, and they all are made to look like they're coming out of your arm, like you're a big daddy. And this is a hoe, and this is a... Well, that's cool. It's a, um, it's a bow and arrow, but it's made to look like a Olympic gun, and it shoots rivets. So that's a nice touch. Alright, um, if you notice your fishing rod, they all, they're all designed to look like big daddy things. And your swords, your stone, your wooden sword looks wimpy, your stone sword looks like the drill, your iron sword looks like the drill, your golden sword looks like, um, another drill. So, pretty much all of these, um, are just reskinned to look like... For the, word. Uh, the big daddy attachments. The compass and the clock weren't reskinned, which is kind of disappointing, but other than that, other than that, it's good. Your HUD is made to look pretty cool. There's where your armor would go. So, I uh, hope you enjoyed watching this. Uh, rate, comment, like, subscribe, do whatever you want. And I will have more videos up soon.